The Notification Center is a way to manage communication between an employer and employees in PayClock Online. In the Notification Center, you will be able to manage time off requests from employees as well as see product updates for PayClock Online. In the upper right hand corner of PayClock Online will be the notification icon. When you receive new notifications, this icon will flash green. In the drop down menu, click on Open Notification Center. Once in the Notification Center, there are currently two main areas you can navigate to. Time off request. This will show any pending and completed time off request. And Latham. This will show any product updates. This area will notify you of any recent changes to PayClock Online as well as upgrades and new features. With PayClock Online, your employees are able to make time off requests to their assigned supervisors through the web portal. If a time off request is approved, the time requested will automatically be applied to their time card. Employee supervisors are able to quickly review each request for the amount of time and dates requested, along with recent time off requests and other employees that already have time off on the same requested date. An employee must be properly set up to use time off request. In the list to the left, select Home. Click on the Request Time Off button in the Benefit Time Balance card. This button is also located in the Time Cards area. Under Pay Code, select your desired time off pay code using the drop down menu. Under hours off per day, enter the amount of hours per day that you're requesting off for. Under date range, under the start date, please type in or use the calendar button to select the starting date for the time that you're requesting off. Under date range, under the end date, please type or use the calendar button to select the end date for the time that you're requesting off. Under notes, you are free to type any communication you wish to send to your supervisor along with your time off request. Press the Send Request button. Once your supervisor has completed your request, you will receive a notification in the Notification Center as to if the request has been approved or denied. Open the Notification Center by clicking on the icon and selecting Open Notification Center. In the list to the left, select Time Off Request. Under Time Off Request, select Pending. To the right, select your employee's time off request. At the top, press the Approve button. In the next window, you are free to type any communication you wish to send to the requesting employee. Press OK. Open the Notification Center by clicking on the icon and selecting Open Notification Center. In the list to the left, select Time Off Request. Under Time Off Request, select Pending. To the right, select the employee's time off request. At the top, press the deny button. In the next window, you are free to type any communication you wish to send to the requesting employee. Press OK. To set up an employee to be able to make time off requests in the employee portal, select employees from the navigation list. Choose the desired employee. Under the General tab, under the Time Off Request Supervisor, select a supervisor or an administrator that will be able to approve and deny the desired employee's time off request. Under the Access tab, under Web Portal, use the drop down menu to change to Allow Login to Web Portal. In order for an employee to make a time off request, they must have at least one manually managed benefit time or accrued benefit time set up.